newcomers, you might be wondering what exactly we do here at Toastmasters. And to help you understand better, we have an education session. So I'd like to call upon our keynote speaker, who's been a part of Toastmasters since 2012. Since then, he has completed three parts and pathway mentor program. He has been a mentor, uh, he has been a leadership mentor since 2013. He's won the Triple Crown Award eight times. He's currently a, cl a club growth director of District 121. He has also previously taken up roles as public relations manager, area director, division director, and area governor. Professionally, he is a project manager, a certified trainer, an ICF certified life coach, an executive and leadership coach, an NLP coach, practitioner, and also a B-School admission consultant. Please give a round of applause for distinguished Toastmaster Arjun Sundaraj. Wow, oh, thank you so much, Anjali. Thank you so much. Hello, everyone. How are you all feeling? I want all of you to unmute if you're comfortable. Just unmute. It's absolutely okay. Absolutely okay. As long as you're comfortable in a place where that can, where you can unmute hey, or, or even turn the videos on. Hey, Anudeep, thank you so much for joining. In one, I would say an account of three, all of you would need to say one word or one feeling how they felt this morning as soon as they woke up. Don't tell sleepy because I'm sleepy already. It's Sunday morning. All right. The first word that comes to your mind or the first feeling that comes to your mind when I talk about Sunday morning, this morning when you woke up, on account of three. Are you all ready? Yes. Yes. Perfect. One, two, three. Go for it. Magical. Wow. Energy. 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 Very good. Wow, wow, wow. Now tell me honestly, people, how many of you honestly felt that when you woke up in the morning? Raise your hand. Not bad, Mahima. Not bad, Leona. All right. Obey. Thank you. All right, thank you so much. Beautiful, beautiful. Now that is exactly what happens whenever we wake up. There's some feeling, there's some emotion that we're going through. And at the end of the day, what happens? We feel better. We feel so good. And that's where you go back to a place where, hey, this is something that happened through the day. And this particular day is something that, that's going to be very, very similar. Because what I, when, I, when I started off with uh, speaking, I was, I remember very, very well. It was uh, 1997. I was in fifth grade in school. And I had recently joined this new school. And uh, what happened over there was this class was divided into small groups. And one person was supposed to go in front of the class and talk about something that we had discussed about. And I was like, Knowing no one in the class, the best option my classmates had was to put me on the stage. Now imagine this, you know no one, all strange pairs of eyes looking at you. And I go in front of the class. You heard that sound in the background? That's how the classroom was. That's exactly how it was. But after that, I started crying. That's when I heard the voice. You're a horrible speaker. I don't think you can speak in front of people. I wish this was told to me in private, but it wasn't. It was told in front of the whole class by my English teacher. I wish I could tell you that Nothing really happened afterwards. But the embarrassment, the kind of emotion which I was feeling every single time that I took stage after that, I was not able to do anything because of that little voice. You're a horrible speaker. You're a horrible speaker. You're a horrible speaker. Throughout school and college life, public speaking was a strict no-no in my life. Forget about public speaking. I couldn't even look into a girl's eyes and speak properly. I was that underconfident. But what happened was in the year 2012, or rather 2011, I would say, my brother joined the strange club with a strange name as one of the champions puts it across. 
and uh, he told i've joined this color club called as <clears throat> toast master the first thing that i asked him what what is this toast master is do you guys really make toast in meeting and he was like not at all but it's a part of that i didn't realize what it was until 2012 when he dragged me into a club meeting where he was going to deliver a project speech in bangalore he joined the club in pune by the way so that evening i went with him i sat through whatever was happening having no idea what this is all about and i was like okay let's see what what's going to happen later that year i joined this particular club because there was something in me that stopped me from doing what i wanted to or not being called confident about doing anything as a matter of fact because of that voice that voice was that something later play when i started off my journey something really changed and what that something is is what we are going to understand in the next few minutes through this particular session now ladies and gentlemen i want to ask you one simple question over here raise your hand if there is something that's stopping you from doing anything in life is there something really that's stopping you from doing anything yeah raise your hand if you're stuck anywhere stuck uh, somewhere in life stuck at a speech in toastmasters or uh, stuck listening to me today okay thanks for being honest <laughs> all right see that is that is exactly what it is now what we're going to do is there are there are very specific habits that we build through the course of uh, our, our our lives itself now why i do i just want to spend a second and understand what makes you do what you really do let's talk about that let's talk about something who would want to volunteer or share what they have or what makes them do something let's let's say uh, let's take mahima's chair uh, mahima would you be comfortable unmuting please yes perfect thank you mahima now if anyone has noticed mahima's instagram handle she is beautiful in terms of art creativity all right now mahima what drives you into that uh i think i i came across this when i saw a youtube video and uh, that's when i thought i can make make it a little better maybe a little different so mm-hmm. always uh, my uh, enthusiasm is to make something unique something Perfect. different yeah so that is related to customization so yeah the, that's what Lovely. drives me to lovely doing something different excellent anyone else that want to share something similar that something that really drives you from the inside what is it that drives you from the inside come on it's okay absolutely i'm you're if you're comfortable sharing on the chat box it's absolutely okay as well yes uh, yes suma please go ahead yeah so <clears throat> the urge to be the best every single day based on what i was yesterday i want to improve on e- even a small thing you know like okay attending even a session today is the, the becoming a better version of myself for tomorrow because my goal requires that so that is what drives me beautiful becoming a better version of yourself take one step ahead take one step a bit more than what you really th- thought you would take as yesterday as of yesterday and that's exactly what really happens in anything that we want to do in life but when you look at why we do this really why we do this one thing that is very very important or something that i would say is not so common per se is we are able to do certain things all right and we are not able to do certain things primary reason over here is these certain things are a part of our desired behavior a desired practice now when these desired practices become a part of our life that way that's when it becomes a normal practice so that's how we are able to do something now if mahima is able to uh, you know work on art and make it bring it some kind of a customization make it different like uh, how mahima mentioned on the chat box as well what is it that she is doing there is a specific outcome that she is uh, she wants and that's what is taken into a need so when she is associating herself with a group of people with a with thoughts that are related to that 
your desired outcome becomes a normal outcome. Your desired habit or behavior becomes a normal behavior. So when you are in that particular moment, the learning enhances. So oftentimes we see people uh, who are in, in a classroom, let's take, let's take in a classroom. Why is the learning in a classroom much better than learning individually? When you sit at home and learn something, there is a specific outcome that you have, no doubt about it. When you sit and learn in a classroom, in an interactive session, what happens is you raise together, you grow together. And that's, that's the exact point of a community learning in terms of any specific activity. So that's where the motivation comes in because you feel you belong to a specific tribe. You feel when your, your own personal, uh, I would say, a quest would become a shared quest. So that's pretty much a setup of what happens in Toastmasters meeting. Now, let me ask you if there is something that you want in life now, what is it that you want in life? What do you want to do in life? Yes, perfect. Anyone wants to go and share what you want to do in life? Let's hear it from guests if possible. Guests, if you can unmute, share what, what comes to your mind, how you would want to take your life through. Hi, uh, this is Umesh. Um, I'm first, my first time I'm joining the Postmaster. Um, mm -hmm. I think it's a nice experience. I, I spent almost 15, 20 minutes now. So nice, uh, nice to hear and uh, nice to see all of you. Um, just to understand, I think, uh, as I think uh, Mahima has told, uh, um, try out different things. Actually, change is the permanent thing. So we need to change ourselves. And means that, that's what I believe in. Like um, try out near different things are changing every day. We need change. Like uh, in maybe uh, our habits or maybe in the way we speak or the way we, we deliver whatever so those things i i strongly believe in that so that's what i think uh, so excellent thank you excellent excellent thank you so much umesh thank you so much let's let's uh, let's hear from maybe one or two more what's the goal what is the, what is your goal in life yeah yes yes come on let's see so uh, it's actually here uh... Uh, yes, so my goal, the thing that I really want to do in life is to live a meaningful life. And I really want to do something for social cause because it gives me a lot of happiness. And uh, that, that's one thing that I really look forward to doing in life, regardless of which career path I choose. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, let's hold on to that thought, Anjali. Wonderful thought. Thank you so much for sharing that as well. Now, when you're talking about doing something in a social cause, what are the aspects that you think you need to learn in the process in order to help someone else? Um, maybe learning to communicate and give up my thoughts in a more clear way, like learning to uh, do that and think and really thinking, uh, I'm really bad at really communicating this, but I think it would be good if I learn to um, express my emotions in the right way and really evaluate all the situations and uh, give that out. Yes. Fantastic, Anthony. Thank you so much. What you have done in the last few seconds is what has taken you one step much, much ahead than what you thought or where you are right now. That is what progress is all about. And that's exactly what happens in a Toastmasters Club meeting. Now, what I'm going to break this entire thing down as to what our learning is in terms of Toastmasters and why do we really need to do this in the form of the three sessions that are there in Toastmasters. Okay. Now, uh, in three sessions, pretty much, what are the three sessions in Toastmasters? I don't want Toastmasters to answer this. What are the three sessions in Toastmasters meeting? Come on. You heard the Toastmaster, the Anjali mentioned this. There is, that's exactly what happens in a Toastmasters Club meeting. Three sessions, very simple. A prepared speech section, table topic section, and the evaluation section, right? This is pretty much what happens in a Toastmasters meeting. And the three parts of what I'm going to talk about in to as far as Toastmasters is concerned are the three C's in Toastmasters. So 
so these are the three uh, it's like a three point formula which i would want to share with you more specific now when i started off my journey as a toastmaster which was uh, in 2012 as uh, my i like uh, anjali mentioned and in 2013 i'll tell you exactly on feb 8 in 2013 there was something that that's totally weird that happened i was there about to deliver a project speech in toastmaster and a couple of objectives for this of this particular speech was control any nervousness and strive not to use notes in a speech while you're delivering the speech one minute into the speech i went blank that was speech 3 in toastmasters itself but what happened after was when my evaluator came that day he said that arjun there is nothing to worry about you forgetting a speech i felt there is uh, you there is no problem in you as a speaker or the other practice that you might have had i felt the audience's energy level was comparatively low today and that is why maybe you got more nervous at that point in time the one thought that i had was there was this voice in my head over the last 15 odd years that always said you're a horrible speaker and there is this beautiful voice of this evaluator who comes and tells me that hey it's absolutely okay i know that you can speak you see the contrasting viewpoint of both people i don't say what my teacher did that day something bad but that's exactly what drove me today to where i am so the speech 3 was a huge turning point in my career in toastmasters so ever since speech 3 in 2013 i've i've delivered hundreds of speeches even this particular session or content also if you look at it there were about 20 to 20 to 25 times i might have delivered this but does that make it boring for me or does that make it like hey what's really happening not at all but what is really happening is i'm taking the last 20 to 25 sessions the learning from those 20 to 25 sessions and putting it across into this particular day so that makes this particular content or this particular session makes it 20 to 25 times better for you and that's what we do in toastmasters that's building confidence the second part which i want to touch upon is about the competence of what happens in, during the toastmasters meeting now when you look at a table to table topic section in a meeting there is a topic that is thrown at you and you slowly work on these particular topic build your thoughts around it and start sharing what comes to your mind this is pretty much what happens in a table topic section uh, that is more of an impromptu section now when you look at the competence part of it what is happening here every single time you volunteer to speak in a topic section what is happening is you're pushing yourself to the point wherein i need to think immediately and provide something i need to think and share my thoughts now when anjali said said that she wants to share her thoughts better in a community in an effective manner how does she do that by participating in a table topic section and when i participate what's happening is you're pushing myself i'm pushing myself into a very specific aspect that's with respect to a topic section let's talk about evaluation also as a matter of fact now in evaluation what is happening there is a feedback that is given and then in leadership roles that you take in toastmasters what is happening there is a responsibility that you take up now these are the little aspects every single time when you take up some role or when you give a feedback or even the toastmaster of the day today what is happening is there is one step closer that you are taking as far as the competence level is concerned there is a feedback mechanism that is built in the entire toastmasters movement if I, if my evaluator had not given me a feedback like that back in 2013 feb 8 i wouldn't be standing here and talking to you today if anyone comes and tells there is a method for us to deliver any kind of a feedback itself so these are the some of the aspects that will slowly help us to build competence step by step and as we go further in whatever we want to do what we are trying to have is build all these things into real life to so bring all these aspects these competence this confidence into real life and how do we do that by the third c in terms of communication in terms of communicating effectively 
efficiently. Now, every single thing that we do in life, let's say the daily conversations that we have, or the projects that we're working on, or even negotiating with a client or, or with a vegetable vendor, every single thing is pretty much where any particular skill of Toastmasters can be learned. One of the most important factors is how this entire learning process happens. Now you saw Ashwita deliver a project speech that said level one and project three, project four, project two. So that, and then you saw the evaluator come and read out the objectives. Now what is happening in these projects is the fact that there is a specific aspect that you're trying to learn. There is a specific skill set that you're trying to learn. Let's say it's, it's leadership potential. Let's say it's working with a team or let's say it's blogging or even writing, uh, sharing your thoughts on a piece of paper regularly over a period of time. But one of my favorites is positive thoughts. How will I be able to consciously think positive thoughts in my mind and see how it's, how it's impacting my life? See, these are the certain aspects that we learn through projects in Toastmasters. That's the pathway. Now, when I'm talking about any specific pathway or path that is there that you choose, it's about your learning from point A to point B. This particular uh, example path or experience in Toastmasters, it takes you from point A to point B at a quicker point in time as a catalyst. So that is one of the core aspects. There is nothing wrong in moving from point A to point B. If you take 10 years, 15 years, five years, absolutely fine. But the fact of the matter over here is how well, how effectively and how efficiently will I be able to take myself from point A to where I want to go, that is point B. That is what makes a difference. And that's where Toastmasters learning experience comes in. That's where Pathways learning experience comes in. That's where every single role that we take in a Toastmasters club meeting comes in. The timer today comes and gives the feedback about the time, but what has really happened? The timer is working on two major skills. One is time management. Second is a feedback mechanism also. So when the time management is there, that there is subconsciously you're just training your mind saying that, hey, it's time. It's something that I need to start concluding. Then if I am communicating like this, can I communicate effectively within this particular time? That's what happens. And feedback is for the person who is receiving the feedback. I saw a yellow card pop up right now. That technically means that, hey, yes, it's time for me to move from one aspect of the speech to the last aspect of the speech. And that's how I start applying in my real life. In my meetings, none of my talks are more than five, six minutes. And how did I build this particular practice? It was through those muscles. If you can have the attention of your listener, share a story in about five to six minutes, or rather if you cannot do so, then that technically means I am not a, uh, an effective communicator. That's what happens when you build confidence, when you build con competence into your communication because communication is the core of every being every being is here to communicate with another person it's not in terms of voice it's not in terms of words but it's in terms of every single aspect that you have be it an emotion that you want to communicate with another person or be it a love that you want to share with a, with a loved one Every single aspect is where you consciously start at, you know, building this into a part of your life, as a part of your life. And there is a feedback that is given to you in how you can make that better. Now, this is, this is pretty much how, how we invest our time. Now, one thing which I will, uh, I will share over here is you spend about eight, six, eight to 10 hours a day on work, professional work. Some of us are homemakers, some of us are working full-time, some of us have our own businesses where it's beyond that. Now, whatever the time that we spend in our professional uh, working, professional lives, what is happening is the most important factor is that 20% of our time is what we need to invest in our future. And that's pretty much what we say in, in planning your finances as well, right? So that is exactly what happens. If in Toastmasters, you say you spend about two hours in a meeting, that technically means you're investing 
some amount of your time in your future in building your future because of your job is where you it will help you build all the competencies and things like that or rather apply all the competencies and you let you build and the other hand your career is where you need to invest for your tomorrow and this particular movement helps you build on to that particular yeah, on the career that you want to have for yourself it is important definitely to spend time in the job at the same point in time it is important to build a career as well in the video which we saw earlier dr balakrishna prabhu had uh, beautifully uh, mentioned this about uh, the best investment he has made and this this that, when i was listening to him this particular quote came to my mind and i just want to share it with you before i ask a question the best investment a man can ever make is to empty their mind empty their pockets into their mind and that is what happens in those masters if there is a, any specific aspect that you're worried about for okay how am i going to fund myself by attending the meeting just listen to yourself you are investing into your own learning because that's going to take you from where you are to where you want to go tomorrow and those masters program is that little catalyst that's going to help i'll take a brief pause here and see if there are any specific questions that need to be answered i'll be more than happy to answer any any question that you might have questions 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 no question no comment no concerns no complaints no compliments <laughs> no problem that's that's absolutely fine that's absolutely fine uh one thing i want to leave you with before i hand over the section back to anjali is is something that is very close to my heart very very special to me because that changed my perspective about how i really looked at uh, life itself about a few years ago i was driving back from work and there's a very specific normal route that i take come on you don't you follow the same route uh, from work to home home to work yeah pretty much on a daily basis that we do i mean uh, okay may not be during the covid times with all the work from home era but we did so. we do so sometimes as well what's happening is there was uh, a traffic signal that i need to encounter and every single day i used to look at this old lady in a white sari who used to go begging from one car to the other bike the other car to the other bike and i just noticed for a few days she was there every single day at the same point in time i offered her some money a couple of times and once i did not have any money on me and uh, i took a packet of biscuits that i had in my car and handed it over to her she declined it i was surprised why do you take money because you want to buy something to eat and that's the basic basic survival uh, i would say aspect that we everyone need, is living for right it didn't take that day i was like okay fine that's not a problem another day i tried the same thing i offered her something to eat she did not take it as well and then she went on to the next bike that was standing next to my car and uh, that that man offered her money there was a cop that was standing uh, right at the signal he said that don't offer her any money so she buys tobacco to chew with the money that you give and a couple of days back she had fallen unconscious near the shop uh, in, at the shop nearby now i was shocked i was really shocked is this why you declined something that i offered to eat and you really did, wanted only money that was the thought that was going on in my head for the next 10 minutes until i reached home because i was very disappointed of what the cop said and i had was like what is what is happening actually a few more days later i just wanted to try what she what is really happening check her pulse so even if i had some money i offered her biscuit but this time she spoke she said that sir i am old and i don't have any teeth to chew these hard biscuits that's when it hit me that hey 
I had actually judged her because, without knowing her background, without understanding from where she is coming from, what she is going through. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a common tendency for every single one of us to judge the other person without understanding the background, without knowing their perspective or experience or where they are in life. If there is one place, one place in the world where this does not happen, it's your club meeting. It's the Toastmasters meeting. Anything, anything that you do over here is not judged, but evaluated. Anything that you do over here is not considered a mess, but it's something that is helping you to take your mess into a different place of success. Any aspect, there is nothing that is wrong over here in those masters. Even if you do anything as a matter of fact, no one will come and scold you that what the hell is wrong with you? No one. But always, hey, it's okay that it happened. How can we make that better? How can we make that unique? How can, help, how can we help you learn through the entire process? And that's what happens in Toastmasters. This is entire journey is something that will make you go from where you are, like I said, to where you want to go. Good luck in the journey. Thank you, Madam Toastmasters. Thank you so much, distinguished Toastmaster Arjun Sundaraj, for this insight. I'm sure the guests have received a lot of valuable inputs regarding Toastmasters and all the wonderful things ahead in life with Toastmasters. Thank you.